Salwete omnes, and welcome to the world that was. My name is Darius, and today I'll be taking a look at the heel of Italy, also known as Magna Graecia, due to the intensity of Greek colonies here that date back to the 8th century BC. This recipe is for some small bread rings known as tarali. They're still made today, but in a slightly different way to how I'll be making them here. This recipe has been adapted from Tavola Mediterranea, so I'd suggest you check them out after this video. In any case, let's take a look at the world that was. To begin with, we need to make a very simple dough. Do this by pouring two cups of flour into a bowl, followed by about a tablespoon's worth of fennel seeds. Quickly whisk these together so they're just combined. You can, of course, add less fennel here if you want a milder final product. Next, pour in about a half cup's worth of water. your two tablespoons of olive oil, and your two tablespoons of white wine. Cheap wine in antiquity would have likely been somewhat similar to modern white wine, based on contemporary reconstructions, but white wine vinegar would work just as well here as a substitute. Olive oil is one of the staples of ancient Greek culinary traditions, and fits this dish very nicely. In any case, when your liquids have been added to your flour and fennel mix, go stir everything together. Use a wooden spoon or a silicon spatula like I'm using here, and mix everything until it's very well combined. If your dough is looking a little wet, go add a few pinches of flour to even it out. If it's looking too dry on the other hand, add a tiny splash of water. It shouldn't be sticking to the side of the bowl. Whenever your dough is finished being mixed, leave it to rest in the bowl for about a half hour or up to an hour, just to let everything hydrate. The length of time it'll take for this to happen is completely dependent on how hot or cold your room is. When your dough is hydrated and well rested, something I can never relate to, go tip it out of your bowl and onto a work surface. Given the amount of olive oil in it, you don't necessarily need to flour your work surface to stop the dough from sticking too much. In any case, work this by kneading it a few times and getting it into a round shape. Cut this in half, and then cut these halves in half. Tarali normally take the form of very small bread treats, but I'll be making these ones into slightly larger loaves, which will turn out kind of like bagels. Irrespective of that, I'll be forming them in a similar way to how tarali are traditionally made. Work one of your dough quarters into a ball, then start rolling this out into a tube until it's about as thick as your thumb. Or thinner, if you're going for smaller tarali. It's up to you. In any case, roll it out to your desired thickness before taking a section of it and curling it around your thumb or finger. Press the two ends of the dough tube together like so, and set aside on a baking sheet. Again, I'm only making eight larger tarali, but depending on how large you make yours, you may have more or less than I have. Most likely more. Place your sheet onto the center of an oven preheated to 200 degrees Celsius or 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and leave this to cook for about 40 minutes or until they start to turn brown around the edges. Depending on the size of your tarali, they may turn out fluffier if they're thick, or crispier if they're thin, in this amount of time. Take them out of the oven when they're done, leave them to cool on a rack, and dig in. The finished product is very fluffy, because I made mine very thick, and has a very delicious licorice flavor. These pair very well with dried figs and sheep's cheese, or other soft cheeses, the origins for Tarali appear to be votive offerings to deities, in the form of very small rings of bread. Gifts of bread would have been a very simple way of venerating the gods in antiquity, as everyone would have had access to bread. Of course, if there wasn't a famine or some other disaster, anyway. The ritual act of giving bread is mirrored in other ancient societies, and is a very simple way of connecting populations. Modern Tarali from the south of Italy have a very different method of preparation to what I've just shown you. Once the dough rings have been formed, they are first boiled, before being baked. This produces a much crisper crust and a softer interior than my method. It's unknown if this was done in antiquity as well. In any case, I hope you all enjoyed this look at the world that was. If you like what you saw, please consider leaving a like on this video, or possibly even subscribing to my channel for some more ancient recipes.